sub tea lounge. It's Reggie Sunday. Uh, this week's topic is when did you realize <clears throat> that you were trans and what it was? Um, well, brief little history is I mean, I'm 24 years old, I know I'm still pretty young. Um, but, um, my whole life I've always felt that there was something different about me. I always felt that, um, I never felt right being female, um, sexually, physically, mentally, I just, it just didn't seem to fit. Um, I discovered that I was gay, uh, when I was... 14, I started making the discovery um, that I was I was into girls. Um, so I elected myself as being I you know I just said hey well then I must be a lesbian. So um, over the over through high school and everything, I mean I wore like sports bras and like loose fitting clothing to make it so it wasn't there. And there were no no breasts there, nothing like that. Um, I didn't know what trans was, so, and it wasn't like, I mean, me, my family were kind of behind in the time, so we didn't, we didn't have, you know, readily available internet access when I was in high school. I actually haven't had, I, yeah, first time I had regular internet access was well after I was 18. So, um, when I turned 18 is when I came out to my mom about being gay. And then um, I started performing in drag, and it it felt good. Like I would purposely stay in drag well after the shows, well after my show, well after I left the bar, all the way till I got home because it felt good to be seen as a guy. Um, in 2007, I met someone who was trans and who was about to start testosterone. Now, this is the first time, I mean, I knew about MTF, but I didn't know what trans was for, you know, people like me. Talking to him and everything like that, it kind of made me think, you know, hey, you've been feeling this way your whole life, you've had internet, why haven't you looked it up? So I started researching it, I mean, researched it for a few months and everything like that, and you know what, I decided that I wanted to live as a man. I didn't want to pursue surgery or hormones or anything like that at the time because I didn't feel that it was best for me. Over the course of a few months living as a guy, being recognized as my as a guy and my friends slowly starting to only call me Reggie. Um, I decided to pursue hormones and even if I didn't want to want hormones, I wanted to see a therapist to see if this was normal or if this was, you know, whatever. I wanted to see a therapist, not just to get hormones, but to also try and figure things out. You know, maybe I wasn't trans. Maybe I was just uncomfortable with being overweight. Maybe I was just uncomfortable with my breast. Maybe I was just uncomfortable with my lower region. Maybe I had a sex deficiency problem or something. I don't know. So I contacted a therapist and I saw him and he analyzed my bio and everything like that. And I saw him for a total of four months over the course of three years. Three years. Um, so, yeah. So when did I realize? Well, I've kind of known my whole life when I realized what it was. Uh, late 2007, early 2008. So that's, that's when I realized that what I was... Had a, there was a name for it, there was a solution to it, and there was a life, I mean, it is a lifestyle, but I firmly believe that after everything, when I fully pass, and I have my facial hair, everything, my top surgery, at least my top surgery, that I will transition from living a transgender lifestyle into living a regular straight man's lifestyle, <clears throat> which is what I want. So that's all for this week. Next week, you got to tune in. Next week is the Tea Lounge Roast. Um, just a little description of that. The Tea Lounge Roast 
is basically we're going to be poking fun at each other. Now keep in mind, we've actually, I know CJ on a personal level, but the other two, we've never met. Um, so we're going to be poking fun at everyone's videos because everyone has their little, their little things they do and everything like that. So we're going to get an opportunity to poke fun at everybody. And it's all in fun. It's no disrespect to any of any of the guys on, on the channel. Um, but I've never seen another channel do this. And I thought maybe it would be a little fun for us to, um, you know, it would kind of open up and let you see into our personalities a little bit. Um, so tune in next week. All next week is Tea Lounge Roast. Um, so, yeah. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next Sunday for the roast gonna be a blast.